It's time, Marcus Rashford announces summer decision after challenging Man United season. Manchester United News as Marcus Rashford has announced he will take some time away from social media activity after a testing season with more to come after FA Cup success. Marcus Rashford will be taking a break from his online activity during the offseason for Manchester United. The forward helped his side to win the FA Cup on Saturday and now has a big summer ahead. Having played a big role in Kabi Mainu's crucial second goal at Wembley, Rashford finished a tough campaign on a high. He only managed seven Premier League goals in Eric Ten Hag's second year in charge, during which he has been criticized on social media and by matchgoers for his performances. Earlier this season, he took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to defend himself from abuse just days after being booed by sections of the fan base during the FA Cup semi-final penalty shootout win over Coventry City. Now he is coming from a position of strength after lifting a fifth major honor with his boyhood club. Writing online, Rashford said, It's time to come off socials for a few weeks. I plan to rest and reset mentally after a challenging season individually and collectively. Thanks to the fans that stood by me through a difficult period. To the ones that didn't just remember at United, we always stick together. Prayer hands emoji. Following the FA Cup win over Manchester City, he posted a similarly defiant message. People want to know what man ud means to me. Red heart emoji. He wrote the message alongside an image of himself clapping supporters and crying during the celebrations. Rashford has been linked with a move away from Old Trafford this summer despite only signing a new contract in August. It comes with uncertainty over Ten Hag's position as head coach and the first transfer window under the sporting control of Ineos and Sir Jim Ratcliffe. United have lots to do over the coming months and getting Rashford back to his best is among them. Unlike some of his teammates, he will not be heading to an international tournament with his country, having been left out of Gareth Southgate's provisional 33-man squad for Euro 2024. It leaves Rashford with ample time to prepare for the new campaign after a holiday. In the quiet moments before dawn, Marcus Rashford sat alone in his living room, the soft glow of his phone illuminating the darkness. After a season filled with highs and lows, triumphs and tribulations, he knew that the time had come to make a decision that would shape the course of his career. With a deep breath, Rashford tapped out a message on his phone, his fingers moving with a sense of purpose, born from months of contemplation. As the words took shape on the screen, he felt a weight lift from his shoulders, a sense of clarity washing over him. It's time, he wrote, the words ringing out like a clarion call to action. After much reflection, I've decided to take the next step in my journey. Thank you to everyone who has supported me along the way. With a sense of finality, Rashford hit send, the message disappearing into the digital ether with a soft ping. In that moment, he knew that he had made the right choice, despite the uncertainty that lay ahead. For Rashford, the decision to leave Manchester United was not an easy one. The club had been his home for as long as he could remember, a place where dreams were born and memories made. But after a challenging season filled with injuries and setbacks, he knew that he needed a fresh start, a new chapter in his footballing journey. As the news of Rashford's decision spread, tributes poured in from fans and teammates alike, each message a testament to the impact he had made during his time at Old Trafford. From his electrifying goals to his tireless work off the pitch, Rashford had endeared himself to the hearts of millions, leaving an indelible mark on the club he had called home for so long. As he prepared to embark on the next chapter of his career, Rashford couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement mingled with trepidation. The road ahead would be fraught with challenges, but he was ready to face them head on, armed with the lessons learned from his time at Manchester United. With his sights set on new horizons, Marcus Rashford rose from his seat, the first rays of dawn creeping through the curtains. As he stepped out into the world, he knew that whatever the future held, he would always carry the spirit of Manchester United within him, 
a constant reminder of where he had been and where he was going. And so, as Marcus Rashford prepared to embark on the next phase of his career, he did so with a sense of purpose and determination, unlike any he had felt before. The road ahead would be challenging, filled with obstacles and setbacks, but he was ready to face them head on, armed with the lessons learned from his time at Manchester United. Manchester United star Harry Maguire aims dig at Leeds United after playoff final defeat. Leeds United missed out on a place in the Premier League after losing to Southampton in the final. Manchester United defender Harry Maguire took a free shot at Leeds United following their 2024 championship playoff final heartbreak on Sunday. Leeds traveled down to Wembley Stadium hoping to replicate the joy experienced by United in the FA Cup just 24 hours prior, though they came away empty as it was Southampton that earned promotion to the Premier League. In the end, all it took was one strike from Adam Armstrong to see off Daniel Fark's side. Neutrals with ties to other Premier League clubs were watching on with vested interest to see whether it would be Elland Road or St. Mary's Stadium their team would be traveling to next season, Maguire evidently one of them, and given his ties to two famous rivalries with the West Yorkshire club, he wasted no time to hit them while still freshly wounded. Posting to his Instagram story on Sunday afternoon, the England International showed his view of Southampton celebrations on his TV screen, with the caption, Hope everyone is having a fantastic Sunday, followed by red circle and red heart emojis. Of course, as a Manchester United player, Maguire knows all about the Roses rivalry sparked by the Northwest and Yorkshire regional divide and carried on into any modern meeting between the two clubs. Also Sheffield born and bred, plus as a past Sheffield United player, the 31-year-old is no stranger to a fiery Yorkshire derby against the Whites. Throughout his career he has played nine matches against Leeds, winning five, drawing twice, and losing twice. So ultimately, who couldn't forgive the man for reveling in the moment? With the win for Russell Martin's side, the full 20-club list of players who will be competing in the Premier League is now complete. They are AFC Bournemouth, Arsenal, Aston Villa, Brentford, Brighton, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Everton, Fulham, Ipswich Town, Leicester City, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, Newcastle United, Nottingham Forest, Southampton, Tottenham Hotspur, West Ham United, Wolverhampton Wanderers. In the aftermath of Manchester United's victory, Harry Maguire couldn't resist taking a subtle jab at rivals Leeds United following their defeat in the playoff final. Maguire, known for his competitive spirit and outspoken nature, seized the opportunity to add a touch of spice to the post-match banter. In his remarks, Maguire cleverly referenced Leeds United's failure to secure promotion, subtly highlighting the disappointment of their playoff final defeat. While Maguire's comment was light-hearted, it nevertheless served as a playful reminder of the competitive rivalry between the two clubs and the bragging rights at stake. Maguire's dig at Leeds United likely sparked a flurry of reactions and responses from fans and pundits alike, fueling the age-old rivalry between the two historic clubs. As supporters engaged in spirited debates and banter across social media platforms and fan forums, Maguire's remark added an extra layer of intrigue to the ongoing narrative of footballing rivalries. Ultimately, Maguire's playful jab at Leeds United served as a fitting conclusion to Manchester United's triumph, injecting a dose of humor and rivalry into the post-match celebrations. As the footballing world eagerly awaited the next chapter in the storied history of these two iconic clubs, Maguire's remarks ensured that the competitive spirit and banter would continue to thrive both on and off the pitch. Man United suffer 26 million euro transfer blow as Chelsea aim to pip Sir Jim Ratcliffe to key signing, latest Manchester United transfer. Gossip includes an update on Benjamin Sesko and Glyson. Bremer Manchester United linked Benjamin Sesko's release clause has increased following his debut season in the Bundesliga. 
Sesco has been a long-term target for the Red Devils with Men's Sport reporting back in July 2022 that talks had taken place between the club and the player's agent, Elvis Basanovic. He later moved to RB Leipzig from Red Bull Salzburg. He continues to impress with his performances and has even earned comparisons with Manchester City's Erling Holland. The forward continues linked with a move to the Old Trafford, but Arsenal are also credited with an interest. However, Leipzig are determined to keep the 20-year-old, who is under contract for the next four years. According to Sky Sports Germany, his release clause increased from 43 million euro, 50 million euro, to 56 million euro, 65 million euro, after RB Leipzig's final match of the season. United held talks with Sesco's agent in 2022, prior to him signing for Leipzig for 20 million euro. It means the club's failure to land Sesco two years ago could end up costing them an extra 26 million euro if they want to bring him in this summer. It is understood that he had a performance release clause in his contract, which was triggered, seeing his release clause rise another 13 million dollar euro, 15 million dollar euro. In his debut season in the Bundesliga, Sesko has scored 18 goals in 42 games in all competitions. Elsewhere, Chelsea are looking to provide competition to United after joining the race for the signing of Juventus star Glayson Bremer.